Fill the Stairs is part of a series of games available from, from the cooperation between pre-service mathematics teachers at Grand Valley State University and the GVSU Regional Math and Science Center. To participate in this game, you will need a deck of standard playing cards representing 0 through 9 as digits. The ace card may be played as 1 and the jack as a 0. Blank or scrap paper on which each player or team draws their own path or staircase of 10 spaces with a beginning and end is also needed. The objective of this game is to be the first player or team to fill their path with numbers in order from smallest to largest. On a blank piece of paper, players will create their own path or staircase with 10 spaces. They will label start and finish on this path. The deck of shuffled playing cards will go in the middle of the playing space. To start, both teams flip a card. The player who drew the larger number goes first. To begin your turn, you must draw two cards. Then, with these two cards, decide which card goes in the ones place and which card goes in the tens place, and place this resulting number on the path. You can only fill in a number on your path if it keeps the path in order from smallest to largest. If there is no place, you skip your turn. If a team has 12, blank, 44, 47, blank, 61, 71, blank, 90, blank, and turns over a 7 and a 3. They could put a 37 between 12 and 44, or a 73 between 71 and 90. If they draw a 4 and a 6, they could not place a 46 because it is not smaller than 44 or bigger than 47. nor could they place a 64 because it is not smaller than 61 or 44 and not larger than 90. Then they must miss their turn. The first person or team to fill their path wins. If play is continued, the losing team goes first in the next game. One variation is to draw three cards and play from 0 to 999. With this, there is more variation on where to place the numbers. As this fits second or third grade, there are other variations on this slide for kindergarten or first grade and for fourth and fifth grade. Some instructional ideas would be to ask students what card they would hope to flip over and why. You could also discuss strategy on their number placement, find differences between steps, or just have students find the smallest and largest gaps they have in their path and invite students to make game variations. Thank you so much for watching this instructional video on Fill the Stairs. I hope you enjoy playing.